Okay, so on to the next track in Sammy's Kicks and Flats Addict series, man. This one over here is called Foreigner. Jukebox Hero. Now, I've never heard of this artist, never heard of the song. This is completely and utterly brand new to the channel. So you guys might need to just help me out over here and give me a little bit of background on who these people are in the comment section. All right? Because I'm going in completely cold. I have no idea what this this is at all. So anyway, let's uh, rock and roll. Let's see what we've got over here for those of you who are interested in the custom series product. Um, you can take a look at the link down in the pinned comments, click on that and go and uh, read for yourself. And if you are only jumping on now, maybe go back to the beginning of the series. Trust me, it's a fantastic series with a lot of great artists, a lot of great music. And uh, go back, take a gander, go take a look at uh, what we've reacted to. It's been fairly entertaining. Actually, not fairly entertaining, it's been very entertaining. Let's uh, rock and roll, let's see what we've got. Standing in the rain With his head hung low Couldn't get a ticket It was a sold out show Heard the roar of the crowd He could picture the scene this very simple story over here so it's basically a kid that just wants to go into this concert that is dying couldn't get a ticket right so he's basically from the outside he sees a bit of a gap in the wall he takes a look at it and he's in complete awe like this is his dream to go and see these people because he's he loves music he wants to actually be a, ro a rock star um and he sees that guitar and he's like okay th this I, I need to find a way to get myself from outside of this uh, uh, arena to on that stage which is the ultimate ticket do you know what i mean um and then goes to a second hand store sees that one guitar doesn't know how to play it but this is a kind of like the beginning of his journey to getting there right to getting the ticket to the ultimate stage like i said um um in his life which is being a rock star himself to understand just one guitar that i love that he's the jukebox hero with that one guitar right so it kind of feels like this is his own concert this is his own playlist right you know you get those people i mean you don't get you jukeboxes anymore today there was one pub when i was in my 20s that had like one like jukebox uh, uh jukebox over there and it was like every single time i think it was like five rand over here which is virtually nothing um in in the states five rand in south africa is uh, um <laughs> decimal dust to you people <laughs> but anyway uh, I used to be like 5 rand he used to like pick a song and I used to just go there with like 50 rand <laughs> and get 5 rands and I just li literally take over the jukebox and be like okay well I'm going to just fucking do 10 straight songs of my own and I would do that again and again and again never what nobody was ever able to fucking take that over right so it's kind of like this over here where he's like he's taking over the jukebox he's becoming the jukebox right it's all my music my music is the most important right because I often don't get my way when it comes to that stuff okay fine let's go Heavy downpour 
Thought he passed his own shadow hey. By the backstage door Ooh. Like a trip through the past That one, that one guitar was the drive of his entire dream. It was his drive of his, that was his drive, essentially. That one guitar was um, what kept him going. That one guitar is what kept his ambitions alive, what kept his dreams alive. That one guitar, that idea that one day that guitar is going to be attached to a name that's going to be universal. I like that. Let's go. <laughs> Of course we have to have the solo. really really like this song it's such a bouncy song it's a really really cool song over here but i feel the progression of the song is quite clever because it went from the kid not being able to get into the concert not being able to have a ticket actually seeing through the gap and seeing that guitar thing and saying the only way that i'm ever going to um um you know sort of get into these concerts all of the time without ever having to buy a ticket is to actually become a rock star myself right then practicing it and then going through like the whole juice while he's a jukebox hero and then eventually getting on stage right and uh becoming what he's always wanted to become and it started from that ticket that one moment right that now he has become the Duke's Box hero, which means that his name has now become universal, right? With what started with the dream is now just completely taking over every single diner and all that kind of thing. His song is played in every single Duke's Box across the country and every single Duke's Box across the world is become universal through one little dream, right? And it's what the very the very thing that drove him was what he didn't have it was that one thing that he needed um that drove him all the way to becoming a jukebox hero anyway let's go Love it. The talent already existed. The drive already existed. The ambition already existed. All he needed was the tool. And the tool was the guitar. I love, love, love this piece of music. Very, 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 very cool. I'd love to know when this was from. It sounds like it was somewhere around the 70s, maybe 60s. I'm not sure. You guys can correct me down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one, man. Peace.